noise, there'll be noise in the background, but anyway, this is our XD episode, and today I'm just going to show you uh, the underhold bass, and this is an underhold tutorial, a very simple one. So this is my underhold bass, and in, re in the actual terms of the bass, it's not very strong, so most of the pavement probably will not work, um, and of course, the waste of blocks on the outside, and there's no iron bait or anything like that, so it's, it's uh, Vargas bait, it's not really a good bass in general. But I, I'm going to show because what I have unlocked all the monsters and upgraded them to quite a few levels and uh, placed towers and something away and all that stuff. So the first thing I'm going to go to is on the hole. On the hole, the max upgrade is level 6, you can only get to level 6. And this is the center of the stations. And if you recycle it, you get quite a lot, but I won't recycle it. I'm not going to. And of course, you want to protect this as much as possible because that gives all the most loot. Uh, there, are, there are only five silos, okay, and these are not silos, these are resource pods. As you can see, resource pods need upgrading quite a lot. Uh, there's only five of them. Uh, this one is maxed level. Uh, let's see. So they're not, they're not even maxed level, and I've already got 12. You know, the capacity I've got so far is 14 million. Okay, good. We've got high magnum. I'm running low on bone and coal. Now I'm running low on coal and sulfur. Sulfur because I'm upgrading coal because generally you, you use a lot of coal and also partly because I haven't really upgraded my coal things which I'm currently doing now. Uh, so that's uh, another thing. So I'm going to bank coal. Oh, banking is exactly the same as normal. You can you can bank one individual one as up base or you can just bank all of them. Of course uh, you do standard upgrading. Uh, and usual stuff, speed and up, ge ge pretty much exactly the same, uh, except for the resources change, all the names of the stuff changes. The Magnum Towers are basically the Tesla Towers. Uh, they can hit air monsters, but it's only because of the short range. They're not as good as the Tesla Tower as well. They can't be fortified. Nothing here can be fortified, uh, so there's no fortify option. They'll probably put that in later on. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure what level the towers can be upgraded to, but I have got the shoot sharp shooters to this level, and the Damage, to be honest, is not as good as the overall damage of the monsters. So this is really a lot of abilities. Really, you want to be using your quake towers uh, as main defense of your base. Uh, the cannons and the sharpshooters are not really good. Even the magnet towers are not really good at all. So these quakes are the, the main tower should be upgrading. I put them so they attack paving. A lot of people are going to ask first. What shall I protect? Well, in compound you don't need to protect, and it's basically like a huge block, because of course it's going to get emptied, if, if your base is going to get attacked, it, when it gets emptied, it's basically a block and the monster's going to ignore it and go around, so you could use that in paving, but I'm not entirely sure if you should. Um, another thing is that the, you want to protect the resource pods as well, on, on the up, up world, resource pods give more loot, if, no, no Silos give more loot if they're all destroyed right over the town hall, but in this in this one town hall is what you want, the only hall is what you want to protect. So yeah, it's kind of confusing all the names and all that stuff. Remember, uh, pretty simple: blast tower, sharpshooter, mm, quake tower, magma tower. There's only four towers, so I'm going to go into buildings, and these are basically you start in four resources, produces monsters, upgrades monsters, builds buildings, slightly builds buildings. Houses, resources, and then you go into buildings, unlocks monsters, trains monsters, uh, houses monsters, and also defends your base like a champion. I don't think it'll be a champion cage installed. And these only like hatcheries, they produce monsters. Uh, of course, booby traps pretty much done. They're not they're not changed at all. The fire thing doesn't need to do fire damage or anything. They just sim as you see, paving my base has worked quite well. And I'm, I need to refill my traps, but I'll do that in some other video. Or oh, some of the time, not in the video now. So they don't, they do a thousand damage, the same one as Upworld. So you know, they don't do anything more. You get six cannons and snipes as usual, four quake towers, three mag towers, and 220 blocks, which is n not really good in terms of paving. Uh, decorations, usual stuff. Now, I'm, I, as you notice now, I'm currently being attacked, and the computer is pretty slow, so it may, Google Chrome probably will crash. And to save the computer time, I'm not going to actually look at the uh, look at the damage. 
But uh, I think I'm going to attack to buy something like 84 Zagnoid and like 21 Spurts, and then we'll see what we'll see the damages afterwards. In my um, compound, I literally have just King Worms. I think King Worms are one of the most overpowered monsters in the game now. <laughs> However, Dave, uh, our Dave is, is still better in some, most situations, but uh, like if you're clearing out NXC, King Worms is probably better. If, especially if Talon's covering it, so King Worms is good at that. They, they also have splash damage, and they get splash damage right away. And it's not like Worms where you have to unlock it, so that's a pretty cheap method as well. Now, if you want to use Worms there, but for instance, what well, worms are they have 70 housing spaces and they don't, they're not near, anywhere near as powerful as uh, King Worms is for instance. 7 King Worms are easily outbeats 7, uh, 10, 10 Worms are. So definitely if you if you want to use Worms are, just swap over to King Worms are. They're more expensive but they're better and if you can afford it, I would use them. The overall defense of the base, I don't really like how the defense works on this. Uh, I mean, that's, it doesn't. I don't like how overpowered. Like everybody complains that defense is overpowered in the upper world. Well, in the underworld, it's really underpowered, and I find it really difficult to defend the base against other players. Not that anybody attacks me. I mean, there's people that over here with, with bases, and all the towers are spread out, and it's not a good idea. My honest recommendation is that you have a BDB, uh, a big dumb bunch. You go back to your base, pour your towers in the middle. However. This may not work if your enemy uh, bunches up all his monsters or attacks on one side or uses King Worms there. So generally, do not be done bunch. Do not place all your monsters in the middle. You want to be filling your bunker with either Balthazar or King Worms there. Uh, Rokers can be alright, but generally Balthazar and King Worms are going to, uh, is going to, what, fuck, is going to fuck up your opponent a lot. So use them. Your compound is actually the strongest defense. All the towers that don't really do anything. But the compound, make sure you keep filling your compound. Another thing to note is the incubators, and I'm going to these are basically your hatcheries, and in exactly the same space as hatcheries, uh, and of course Sabinox is okay, uh, but basically what they do is, if you are attacked and your monsters here get killed, they're going to refill this bunker, and I, I don't like this. what happens here. But basically, you want if you're an attack, you want to protect your incubators, and on this base, that's why I don't like it, I haven't protected them. But you really want to protect your incubators, so protect your incubators. And if you keep them refilled every time you, you know, keep them refilled with something cheap, even like spurts. And then when your opponent attacks and then he goes to attack again, your bunker will refill with loads of spurts. And then you, you've pretty much got a solid defense. Or you could do something on the lines of have one uh, king worms are queued up, so the king worms are, you know, the, the, the ones that take a long time will be deployed. And then loads of weak ones as well. The weak ones will distract while the big one destroys everything. So that's a good tactic. Um, Basically, there's not really much to tutorial really. No, this is basically uh, try and upgrade your blocks. I, I don't know what the max like level of blocks is, but I don't. But the health doesn't really seem to be that much. To be com to be completely honest, uh, I will do a video on the block. I'm going to do a video on block health eventually. Uh, I'm gonna, but of course, I need to upgrade blocks here. But I do know the up top uh, block health, and that's the twenty-seven thousand. Uh, from 1,000 to 27,000, and it's pretty pretty good. Paving is better as well. Uh, but on this, you, you first thing, what should I upgrade? Um, my honest recommendation is that you upgrade your sulfur and your magma. Now, oh wait, why should I do that? Well, you raise your sulfur and your magma uh, unlockers. Right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the um, wild monster bases and you're going to attack them to get the other two resources so you use your magnum with that and you want to upgrade you want to upgrade your strong box, get King Wormza and get Balthazar and get um, Zagonoi as, as fast as possible and make it easy to take down bases you get you therefore you keep attacking you get resources out of here if you're re relatively good attack you should be able to do it and then you get resources and then you get those resources and then eventually you you are you are going to get to a point where you can't destroy the bases anymore. I've got to that point, and now I'm having to upgrade everything else. And it does take quite a long time. But my honest recommendation is that you upgrade your resource gatherers first. If your player is attacking you, upgrade your towers. But if no one is attacking you, you better upgrade your resource gatherers. Remember, players don't know what level your towers are. And generally speaking, if you just build all your towers, it'll look like your base is strong anyway, and maybe add some like paving. Uh, just 
like bunch of blocks. This is very very simple paving. I do like a fork mechanism or um, like blocks and just place build traps in choke points. So th this make, will make your base look stronger. Your base may not be strong. Your base may be very weak. Your base will probably get taken on straight away. But if the player sees it and, and they're more likely to attack someone else who's base isn't very very good so they'll probably leave you alone you might be left alone so my best recommendation is to do the best base you possibly can uh, for instance now there's no map planner so what you do is you put all your non useless buildings one side uh, with all your blocks uh, keep your blocks where they are do whatever you want with them uh, and then put your resource gathers on this side uh, town hall this side and snap and towers all this side and then basically you just keep putting in the middle obviously you want to put the other hole in the middle and surround it with um, of these uh, in fact catapult it, it doesn't really matter if this base, uh, if it was catapult, this base would be prone, especially here and here. So to be completely honest, catapult doesn't matter at all. And I don't think they'll ever add the catapult, or if they're going to add the catapult, they'd have to have massive range, because everyone's just going to catapult the compound. I would catapult the compound. I don't see how it could get added, really. I mean, if you, the compound is like the most overpowered defense. If you can destroy that, you've basically took down the base. Uh, all bases are doable if the compound wasn't there. Because of the compound, my base is overpowered. Uh, and of course, uh, I use the place on the traps as well. Uh, but one thing, if you've got if you've got any compound, your best thing to do is put is use Grokus or high level, uh, high. Um, you'd have to use Grokus. Use Grokus and bait the bunk. You're not really baiting them. You're just kind of like putting them in a position where they have to attack the Grokus and keep the group no occupy with the Grokus. And then go and view attack on this side. Unfortunately, you can't attack these bases with champions because I think one champion could probably tank the whole base, especially Gorgo. So you definitely wouldn't be fair. Uh, so I won't, I won't worry about champions. Uh, down down here, they've got a lot to add uh, compared to upstairs. But this is this is kind of like a. You can imagine realistically that the um, up world is for me it's like a beta for the downward. I think they were planning this for a long time. Pers that's my just my personal own opinion. That the, the upworld is a, a beta. Well, obviously there's lots of stuff there that should be not be added. For instance the um uh Rocket Dave and all that stuff. They can't once it, once they add something in, this is one with you guys asking for stuff. Once they pick you add something in they can't take it out because the players have already spent their resources and they'll get upset. So um it wasn't really much of a tutorial, it was more kind of like explaining what to do. Just uh, place your sharpshooters in the place where I can get the most range out of them as well. Uh, so, first thing. I wouldn't worry about bunching up towers unless they're coming with King Worms here. But remember, it's very difficult to defend. Make sure you fill your compound and fill your bunkers. Uh, of course, the incubators, they work pretty much exactly the same. You just put them in, boom, done. So, this is the end of the video guys and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something or learned something useful. But if you want to protect resources, just remember that you want to protect all your resources, yeah. And your town hall. You don't want to be losing them, you want to be gaining them. Okay guys, good luck and make sure you change your base. I'm pretty sure you see all of you with box bases. Please change them. I've got a video destroying the box base, I'll link it in the description. And just to show you how bad box bases really are. Of course I didn't use Osriti. So the attack wasn't as strong, but if I had used Avriti and I had catapulted the ADT, the base would have been destroyed. There would be no chance. And I think I might do that some uh, maybe next week. Uh, so just just complete destroy the base and show you how bad they really are. But uh, thank you.